Hi, I'm Ravi Day and I love spice. And today we are going to do a fish korma. Now, people think of kormas, which is a beautiful, mild, thick, aromatic curry. They always think of either a lamb korma or a chicken korma or sometimes even a veggie one. Well, today we're going to break those rules because, as I always say, once you know the rules, you've got to break them. But today we're going to do a fish version. So let's start. We've got some lovely barra here, but any firm fish, um, malawe, I love the kurong malawe, except I believe it's hard to get at the moment because the New Zealand seals are eating them all up. But uh, you can use kingfish, you can use snapper, snook even, so anything that's nice and thick and chunky. So I'm going to pop uh, the fish into a bowl because we need to sort of, well, I don't know if marinade is the right word, but we're going to coat it with some of our special spices. And the spice I'm going to use now is our Korma spice mix. Now that spice mix is blended right here in South Australia with onion, ginger, garlic spices. So it has no preservatives, MSG or gluten, and it is made in tiny, tiny quantities. So it is ready to use and it's lovely and fresh and unlike things from overseas it may be sitting around in the houses and airports for a long long time so secret spice is always to have it as fresh as possible and when you cook with our spices that's all right so it doesn't need a lot there's no fillers no rubbish in this just onion ginger garlic and spice so about a tablespoon to coat the fish will be plenty and just give it a bit of a toss and then a little bit of salt if you want because there's no salt in our spice blends that just brings the flavor out of fish and I think that's a good thing to do so we're going to just let that sit for five minutes while we make our korma sauce korma sauce if you thought it's difficult to do well think again a little dribble of vegetable oil or any oil at home and then take some natural yogurt any yogurt is fine Greek style is good going to add another tablespoon of our spice mix into the yogurt you'll see these bay leaves and there's cardamoms and cloves and cinnamon as a whole spice in here apart from all the powders North Indian uh, spice mix the korma so you have things like cumin and coriander and of course turmeric that everyone knows the value of these days. Tiny little bit of water. And let's get that mixed up. And that's going to go into a hot oil to make the base of our korma curry. If you wanted to do the lamb or the chicken version, follow exactly the same method. If you want to do a veggie version, same thing. Alright, so come in here. Oh, oh, my the beautiful perfume that is being released right now. Now you can see the spice blend, the korma mix is starting to glisten and shine, and that's because the Spices are getting cooked with the oil and they are, of course, releasing the lovely fragrances, but they're also cooking the spices so the spices are not raw and terrible. Nothing is bad as a dash of raw spice just sprinkled on a cooked dish. You've got to get the spices cooked to get the most out of the volatile oils that are in the spice. So our sauce is almost ready. Let's add a little bit more liquid before we put the fish in. Okay, so, a nice runny sauce because it's going to get thicker once the fish is cooked. And then we can just pop in our pieces of fish. You can put a lid on if you want it to cook faster. And maybe five minutes it's not a very thick piece of fish so it doesn't take too long don't overcook your fish 
again, you could do other seafood. You could do prawns in exactly the same manner, calamari, blue summer crabs, and you can even make a mussel or oyster curry just like this. So, in these lovely, beautiful recipes using our spice blends, use the best of South Australian produce or really the best of any produce that you can lay your hands on.